Hi everybody, I'm Chef Jay. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making Spätzle. It's a German pasta made with egg and flour, little bit of milk. One of my uh, subscribers, viewers, wanted me to make a Spätzle. They want to know what kind of sauce you can make with it. The sauce I'm going to be making is inspired by the curry wurst which is actually a German recipe. I'm sure it was influenced by Indian curry because they use the Indian curry powder in it. So I thought I'll make that sauce for my spätzle. Basically, this is a spätzle, spätzle maker. And I got this in a second hand store. Like I usually like collecting all the uh, gadgets and authentic cookwares. And I used to live in Kitchener, which used to be called Berlin at one point because um, a lot of Germans came and settled in Canada in that part of Ontario and uh, so I have a lot of German friends hopefully they'll forgive me if I make any mistake so this was taught by my chef and I did go to culinary school in Kitchener so we, have, we did a lot of German uh, recipes so this is one among them this is like a pasta or a dumpling in between all the uh, dishes but this one tastes very good and it's very easy so I'm gonna make this with um, the German inspired curry wurst they use it uh, with the uh, sausage so what I'm gonna do is like I have chicken so I'm gonna make chicken sausage it's supposed to be made with uh, pork sausage but I just have chicken I'm self isolating I'm just doing it with what I have but this is what my uh, viewer asked me She's one of my related too. So I'm gonna make it. Lauren, this is for you, okay? So the first step I'm gonna do with the spatzle is measure the flour, 150 grams all-purpose flour, 125 ml milk, I'm using whole milk, two eggs, So quarter teaspoon salt, I'm putting it in the dry ingredient, quarter teaspoon pepper, I'm using white pepper because white pepper gives a good color, if you put black it's going to show up, so white is good flavor too and it's very healthy for you and nutmeg. about quarter teaspoon if you want more you can add more so I'm gonna mix all the dry ingredients with the dry ingredients really well I'm adding the two eggs to the milk and beat it really well I'm going to add half the flour first. Make sure there's no lumps. So the measurement like is approximate because sometimes the flour you have may be like a different flour or like you know usually with the recipe you need to know the consistency when it comes to batters not just the measurement okay. first of all you need to know what the consistency should be right the measurement is approximate because you may be using like regular milk i'm using whole milk you can use cream if you whatever you have in the house you're going to add but in this recipe it's going to be milk you can use whole milk or two percent milk it's up to you so now I'm adding all of it. That's it. I think I'm, I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. I'm almost like one tablespoon. Yeah. Slower now, right? So, because when you put it through the I 
put one more teaspoon so I put 150 grams flour maybe you can put like 200 grams flour as I said just first start with 150 then add a little bit the measurements yeah it's taking time to fall that's what you need it's done it should take at least a few seconds to drop otherwise it will be very difficult to to put it through the uh, spatula maker I'm going to put this in the fridge for one hour the second step is for the sausage and the sauce I'll be using a little bit of curry powder so I'm just going to show you a trick so for this recipe I may need like a I won't need quarter cup but I'm going to prepare quarter cup of uh, curry powder so this is a trick very easy so if I usually use whole spices but at home if you guys want to make it so I'm using one tablespoon coriander powder okay this is basic if you don't have curry powder make this it's very easy one teaspoon actually you can put two teaspoon cumin powder one teaspoon turmeric powder so this is pretty much curry powder coriander powder cumin powder and, and turmeric powder it's pretty much curry powder for you okay so now that's the base for the curry powder if you have this you can use this pretty much in your recipe okay it, it already smells so good I have some you can add it with when you're grinding too so I have some paprika quarter teaspoon half a teaspoon paprika one teaspoon chili powder bit more of ginger powder and I add some black pepper half a teaspoon if you want less spicy add less spice if you want more spicy add more spice it's up to you so I have like everything and I'm gonna add a little bit of the nutmeg too not too much very little now the spice blend is ready so it's ready to start the sausage that's the second step the reason I'm making uh, the chicken sausage is like if you say curry worst it needs to have a sausage this is what I have and if you don't like pork if you don't eat pork you can use this as an alternative so in this case for binding I can use you can use milk or egg white I'm actually gonna use olive oil so that's more than enough like um, One, one teaspoon salt and the curry powder I made if you don't want to make or if you think it's a lot of work use Madras curry powder Madras curry powder they have like everything the garam masala and everything is mixed so just buy Madras curry powder or curry powder from Costco or anywhere so you can just put like one tablespoon of it in the chicken put like one tablespoon in the chicken and one tablespoon in the uh, curry paste uh, like curry burst the sauce that we're gonna make I'm mixing it really well the spice everything in here black pepper I'm gonna add that so Worcester sauce I'm adding if you don't have Worcester sauce it's tamarind water basically 
with other stuff but mostly it's like uh, sour so like maybe just one tablespoon or like two teaspoons add a little bit of balsamic vinegar not too much I have some garlic paste I don't want to waste it so I'm using it just a little bit I'll grind it coarsely and I'll come back oh sorry I forgot the olive oil two teaspoons of olive oil that blends it okay so I'm gonna just put it in the pan the small balls it's like um, sausage without casing pretty much like a meatball put some sunflower oil I will show you one Turn it and press it because right now it will be like sticky. Make it flat. Cook this a little bit it's slow. You want the chicken to cook really well. I'll cook everything and come back. So I cut it into, I portioned it with the scoop to make it like even and then I flattened it so it has to cook. With the chicken you gotta be very careful. So I cut it into small pieces and made sure the I will cook as much as I need. I'm gonna leave the rest for my breakfast sausage tomorrow you can use it like for anything like a meatball like a sausage if you don't want to fry it in oil you can actually uh, roll it in a like a roulade you can roll it in a cling wrap boil it in water to be make it like a more healthier or like less fat but I did it this way because it's like easy it's just gonna make a sauce so the fat is necessary because I put like a chicken breast so it needs a little bit of fat so that's why I now I'm making the sauce the tomato puree I made here so it's ready I put two cups of tomato puree I cut half large onion into small pieces you can use like shallots you can use like white onion whatever you want increase the heat I'm using olive oil you can use regular oil or butter I'm adding a little bit of olive oil and some butter so usually the butter helps for the sauce really good really helps so now you can add caraway seeds if you want to give the German touch so caraway seeds I'm adding a little bit for the German touch okay it's very good flavor and it's very healthy too I'm putting half finely chopped 
onion. I had this uh, garlic cube, so putting a little bit. Tomato, garlic, you can never go wrong. Cabbage in this sauce and make it a vegetarian sauce. It's up to you. The basic, I'm just teaching the basics. It's called curry burst, C U R R Y W U R S T. It's a very popular uh, dish. I think people, German people, love it. So now I'm adding the tomato puree. You can add tomato paste. I put two cups. Put it high. And I have the other one tablespoon of the leftover curry powder. I'm adding it to this. I want the curry powder to cook with the tomatoes. Okay. So again. We used Worcester sauce for the sausage, same thing, stammer in water, one teaspoon or two teaspoons based on how much you want, not putting too much balsamic vinegar, little bit, as I said German food, uh, is a there's always a little bit of sour touch, pretty much like Indian, so, so Lauren wanted a fusion and this is not something I made up, uh, it's a German recipe. Some people don't like cardamom, so when you make the garam masala or the curry powder, you don't need to put cardamom. Some people don't like it, some people love it. It's pretty much an Indian sauce. We make tomato chutney like this. So. Yeah. I think I'm going to add some salt before I put it. Just one teaspoon. I'm gonna see. Oh. Yummy. I would put a little bit of sugar. Just half a teaspoon of sugar. That brings out the flavor. Come back after 10-15 minutes. Simmer it, let it simmer and become very very saucy. So we can put it on the pencil. The water is boiling. I put all the sausage, all the fat in there. Mixed it. Before you serve. So yummy. It needs a little bit of salt. It tastes so good. So I'm gonna let it boil once. And water to boil. Perfect. It's good to go. Done. There you go. Show time. Usually when it's full boil, always don't keep it too high, even if it is pasta. In a while I did it. Pretty much all of it. And back and forth. The spatula is coming up. Do it in batches like that so it will cook properly. 
Wir dran. batches don't overcrowd it so this is perfect put it on a baking sheet and cool it you can put it in the fridge I'm putting off everything is off Just cool it down like this. Spatzle. Very simple. Kids will love it. It's like pancake. More eggs. It's time to put things together. Melted some butter in here. The spatzle is actually cooled down. See this is the texture. It's beautiful. It's pretty much like pasta. If you want vegetarian you don't have to add egg. You can make it a little bit thicker and do the same thing. I think worst means it's sauce in Germany. So I thought that will be perfect. To me it smells like a chicken curry. So now got the butter. Just heat it up a little bit right before serving. Oh, looks so yummy. Here you go, spatzle with curry burst. It's tasting time. It tastes amazing. It's very flavorful. The kids will love it because the texture is very very good because one of the best meal in the middle of the week so if you like curry you're gonna like it now that I made it for Lauren I take a picture of it and post it and comment and tell me how you liked it so just follow the recipe I give I give everything elaborate my videos are longer because I want to give the real recipe okay I'll see you guys in the next video if you like this video Please share, subscribe and comment.